we've got an extremely rare car and an extremely nice car. We'll get to the condition in a little bit. This is a 1970 Dodge Cornette 500. 383 Magnum engine, four speed, and it's got a posi rear end. They made 55 total with the 383 Magnum four speeds. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is a really rare car to 55 made. How many still exist? I don't know. Why would someone order it like that? Maybe to beat the insurance. Maybe, maybe to be a sleeper out on the streets. Got the poverty hubcaps. This thing's been rotisserie restored. It is so dialed in. It feels, functions, and looks like a new car. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the information. Look at all the pictures. That's where you find a price tag along with the monthly payment. We also have a buy it now button. If you see a car you really like, click that button and lock it in for yourself before someone else beats you to it. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell icon, and you'll be notified when the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. I didn't mention this numbers match motor. has a build sheet and the original fender tag uh, to document the car. <clears throat> So anyway, a gentleman found the car. He, he was a collector. He restores cars every few years. Uh, and he bought this car in 2014. Had an original motor, real solid, clean body. He took it home, did a two-year rotisserie restoration on it. So everything came off, was stripped to a bare shell. Said it needed just minimal body work. It's all the original metal except for one NOS uh, front fender. Uh, so let's check it out. This work's been done since 2016. It looks like it was done yesterday. This is all straight. The trunk lid fits real nicely. No issues, no bubbles, no body work, no shrinkage. That all looks dynamite. All down here, clean, right around the wheel well lip, all nice and clean. No bubbles, no bumps, no body work. It's straight. This is all nice. The rocker is nice and smooth. There is a bump right here. Not a bubble, but a bump. There is a seam right here with body work, and uh, no one's ever going to see it, but I felt it. If I wasn't touching it, I wouldn't have even known it was there. Door shuts real nice. This is all nice, clean. Fender's clean. This is all straight, beautiful. That hood fits spot on, square, flush. This is all real nice. Repainted its original burnt orange poly. It is a metal flake. It's laid out evenly. Car's all one color. Clear coats polished smooth and glossy. So let's continue on here. Smooth, clean, no issues, no bump on this side. Door lines up square and flush. Shuts like a new car. All nice and clean, real nice. So the body's in excellent shape, really, really nice. Paint's beautiful. There's going to be a minor flaw here and there. A rock or something from underneath must have bumped up. It looks like a little, little uh, crow's feet, they call it, a little, a little chip in the paint. Not even a chip, just a little hairline crack. Here is a chip on this quarter panel, a small one. The decal stripe uh, was actually just put on. That really gives it some pop. The chrome, the tail panel, all this back here is mint. Beautiful shape. The trim all looks real sharp. Uh, rear windows, original, all original glass except the windshield. It's very nice. has some very light scratches. All this stainless trim was taken out, uh, off, straightened and polished. One little dent right here. Wheel well moldings were polished, door handles were replaced, the mirror looks like new chrome. Original frame, it's nice and shiny. A couple defects in the chrome right there. Mild little dents right there in the molding. New windshield. The vinyl top was replaced, it still looks like new. There's no bumps or rust underneath it. The front end, the grills, the bumpers, the emblems, the rubber filler behind it. All that's in really nice shape. Correct antennas, nice and shiny. Yeah, this side looks really nice. The window fuzzies, weather strips, they were all replaced. And as I mentioned earlier, it's got poverty wheels, 
painted to match the car. The caps are real nice. BF Goodrich radial uh, tires, and they are 15 inch. So the outside of the car is looking really sharp. Let's see how the inside looks. All right, I'm gonna show you a real beautiful trunk. It is painted real slick. Look how it's detailed. Very nice, pretty slick. The uh, trunk jam is painted really nicely. Actually, the entire inside of the trunk compartment. Look at that. That's beautiful. Clean metal, painted, clear coated. The whole trunk compartment. The latches, the housings on the lights, the wiring is all beautiful. Uh, it has a matching radial red line tire uh, with a painted rim for a jack or for a spare. It also has the jack assembly as well. So this is a pretty much like brand new trunk compartment. It's complete. I like it when the spare matches the other tires and wheels. It means they went the little extra. There's a lot of places on this car they went the little extra. Like the jams, they're painted slick as can be. The door latches look new, sill plates, weather strips. The door panels mint, the black metal is painted glossy, door panel, armrest, the chrome backing plates, the handle, all that looks like new. The dash is all restored. This whole instrument panel, the knobs, switches, lenses, it has the rally uh, gauges, the tachometer, the clock is working. 3,780 miles since the car has been done. And look how nice everything fits and lines up really good. Heater controls work. It's a retro stereo with an auxiliary plug-in. Glove box liners new. Kick panels, carpet, all this is just really nice. Got the bench seat, big shifter, uh, her shifter. The seats feel real good. They're not broken down. They're upholstered really nicely. The headrest's really nice. Okay. Oh. There we go. Sorry. Uh, real nice seat belts front and back. The all upholstered. The side panels. The metal trim. Everything is mint. The rear package shelf. The headliners mint, not wrinkled. Dome light works. The visors and mirror look new. Even the steering wheel is not worn at all. Must be a reproduction. And it just functions really nice in here. The key buzzer works. Like I said, the clock works. The blower works on all the speeds. The horn works. Engine compartment's beautiful. That is the VIN number matching. We looked at the dates, the casting codes. It's the original 383 Magnum engine. Almost all of these came with a 383 tube rail, but this is the Performance RT motor. Uh, all stock, manifolds, everything. It is updated to a dual-feed Holly carb. The rest of it looks completely stock. All the components on the firewall look real nice. The squirters are hooked up. Heater hoses have the right clamps, the right bracket. Here's the washer bottle, new horns, alternator, brackets, pulleys, all that's real clean. Radiator, the shroud, the clamps, all that looks excellent. The battery is properly secured. The fender tag is in the office. We'll put a picture of that on the website. It's definitely the original. Then this feature is power steering and power brakes, so it makes it very easy, comfortable to drive. Uh, everything's painted up real nice, the whole engine bay under the hood, all painted about as nice as the outside. It has hood insulation. It's a really nice motor compartment. No burnouts today, too wet and sloppy. 
sure this car will do it though. One works. So underneath this car is as nice as the top. It's rotisserie restored. It's just like it sounds. You see the chickens and the rotisserie cooking at the store. Well, this is clamped onto a big rotisserie. There was just a bare shell. Everything got removed from the bottom of the car. Uh, when they put it back together, it was all rebuilt. All the steering, the suspension, the shocks, it was all redone. Uh, but the floors and frame rails, all that is just excellent, clean, dry metal. It was prepped and painted like a semi-gloss black. Uh, and then the whole fuel system was replaced. The tank and the lines. Uh, brake system was completely upgraded. It's all new brake system. It has disc at all four wheels. Custom e-brake assembly. Great sounding Flowmaster exhaust with the right chrome tips in the back. You look up at the motor, it's still spotless. The VIN number is down by the oil pan. There's a picture of that on our website, matches the car. Actually, the VIN number also stamped on the core support matches the car. Uh, it is a correct four speed. The uh, car was born a four speed. It has a correct four speed, but it's not the VIN number match that came with the car, but it's clean. The shift linkage all looks clean. Uh, in back, it's got a, a sure grip rear end with 355 gears. Uh, and again, the bottom is all detailed. This is a dialed in car. When I was kind of checking it out and driving it a little bit yesterday, I was just thinking this, this is how we hope uh, to, to find all of our cars. All of us are in the same boat looking at these old cars and this is the condition we hope to get them in. I'm telling you, this is a really good one. And then the fact it's so rare and desirable, it's a good piece here. Build sheet and fender tag. Go to volocars.com. Salesmen can help get it delivered, help get it financed. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon. You'll be notified when the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.